When I make a dessert that turns out really pretty, quite often it ends up being painted on canvas before it ends up in my belly. And that's exactly what happened today when I made my old fashioned strawberry shortcake. For the record, old fashioned shortcake is not light and fluffy like you'd probably think. Rather, it resembles something more like a tea biscuit or a scone. Don't ask me why, that's just the way it is. And today I'm going to show you how to make it. You ready? So in a bowl, I have here one cup of all-purpose flour, and to that, I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. I'm also going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt and about two teaspoons of sugar. But if you want a sweeter shortcake, go ahead and add more, but I don't like it very sweet. Mix these dry ingredients together really well. This is pretty standard for most muffins and biscuits and stuff like that. I'm going to add three tablespoons of really cold butter and then I'm going to cut it into this dry mixture with something called a pastry blender. If you don't have one of these, you can also use two knives, just kind of cut it in. And if you feel like pulling out your food processor, you can do this in there. But you know, this is old fashioned strawberry shortcake and I'm an old fashioned guy, so I'm using the pastry blender. There we go. Keep cutting that butter in until you end up with a mixture that resembles something like coarse oats. That's how all the cookbooks describe it anyway. You should be able to see little tiny chunks of butter, but it should be well incorporated too. Now I'm gonna start adding some really cold milk, about half a cup or so, and I'm gonna mix this in until this forms a really soft dough. It should form a ball. You might need more milk or you might need a little bit less to get to this stage. It really depends on the hydration of your flour, but you know, you really just want this to form a nice soft dough. Once I get to this stage, I like to get in there with my hands and knead the dough about five or six times just to bring it all together. But one warning, you don't want to over knead this because anytime you do that, you end up with tough shortcakes and that's no good. Now, some people like to chill the dough for 30 minutes in the freezer at this point, but I was a little impatient today. So I went ahead and divided this into four equal portions. Each dough ball weighed about 70 grams, give or take a couple. And another thing some people like to do is roll the dough out and use biscuit cutters to cut the shortcakes. But why bother doing that? It's more work and they look more old fashioned this way. So you do what you want. I'm going to place these on my ungreased cast iron skillet. And before you ask, yes, you can use a parchment lined baking sheet if you want to. But if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you will know how much I love my cast iron skillet. Next, I'm going to brush them really generously with milk. That's going to help them get nice and brown. And then I'm going to sprinkle them with some sugar because that gives it a little added sweetness and crunch on the top. I really like that. Now I'm going to fire these into my preheated 425 Fahrenheit or 218 Celsius oven for about 12 to 15 minutes or until they look like this. Look at how beautiful and puffed and golden those are. I'm going to transfer these onto a wire rack to cool pretty much right away. You don't want to assemble your shortcakes if these are still warm guys or you're just going to have a big mess on your hands. But once they do cool completely and you're ready to assemble, you can take your fresh strawberries. And I also have here some of my old fashioned strawberry jam. If you'd like the recipe for that, I've linked it in the description down below, or you should be able to see the link on the top right of your screen right now. I'm going to add some of this to my berries. Now, normally I don't add anything to my strawberries. When I do strawberry shortcake, I like to leave them pretty plain, but because you're here, it's a special day. Now you could also macerate them in plain sugar or maple syrup, whatever you want. Remember, these strawberry shortcakes are your masterpiece. Now I'm going to cut one of these shortcakes across the middle as if I was making a sandwich. If you serve these the day you bake them, the outside will have this really beautiful crispness, but I find that the next day they start to get a little softer, but I just wanted you to see the beautiful texture on the inside. Now to assemble this, I always add a dollop of sweetened whipped cream. This is just 35% cream sweetened with a little confectioner sugar and flavored with some good vanilla. The complete written recipe for this, as always, can be found by clicking the link in the description box down below. And now we're going to add a layer of our beautiful jam covered strawberries, another layer of whipped cream because, hey, we need a little something to make that top stick, right? And as if that weren't enough, another generous dollop of whipped cream on the top and save your most beautiful berries with the stem still on for decorating the very tops. And there you have it, guys. This is the perfect summertime dessert. Remember, you don't have to use just strawberries to make these. You could also use a mixture of berries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. And hey, with peach season around the corner, why not whip up some peach shortcakes? Mm -mm. And there we have it, guys. Our old fashioned 
old-fashioned strawberry shortcakes are good to go and you won't believe how delicious these are. If you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to give me a nice like and leave me a comment down below if you made these and let me know how they worked out for you. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.